Hello everyone, it's Liz. Welcome back to my channel. As for today's video, I'll be talking about some affordable or drugstore makeup products. But first I have to admit that when it comes to affordable or drugstore makeup products, I haven't really explored or tried out that many. And not because I don't think that drugstore products are good enough quality-wise, but I tend to find that most of them don't seem so appealing in terms of packaging and I guess I'm a sucker for packaging of course the first thing that I look for when I'm buying makeup is quality but when a product has like beautiful packaging is also like a plus you know I feel like uh, my money is well spent you know what I mean so yeah for that reason I think that's why I haven't like bought or tried out that many drugstore products but anyway as for today's video i have created a list of 10 best affordable slash drugstore makeup products for you if you're interested to see that let's get into it so the first product that i'll be talking about is from the brand essence and this is the pure nude highlighter and it's like a highlighter in champagne light champagne color so i would say that it suits like light to medium skin tones and it is more of like a natural or like subtle highlight so if you're really into strong highlights like Becca for example you won't like this for sure and the reason why I like this is because I find that it doesn't emphasize texture on my skin at all if I wear really strong highlights sometimes they tend to emphasize those areas so I always prefer to use like a more subtle or natural highlight yeah so this one is really really good and it is also very affordable however if you don't live in the states um it might be a bit hard for you to get a hold of as it was for me i found this in alta uh, when i went to new york like a few months ago i cannot find it anywhere in thailand so i don't think that um it is sold here so I'm, I'm actually not sure where it is sold like exactly in which countries but I guess you can also find it on Amazon as well if you're really interested and you don't live in the States now the next products that I would like to talk about is from the brand NYX which are these soft matte lip creams they have like a whip consistency and they are supposed to be similar to like a liquid lipstick but I wouldn't call them liquid lipsticks as they are not as drying at all compared to liquid lipsticks and they don't completely set so they do give like a satin matte finish as some of you may know that my full my full-time job is flight attendant and I use this at work and it lasts for hours without drying out my lips however when I eat something they do come off but what I would do is just I would remove like the leftover on my lips and I would just reapply it again and it just gives like a beautiful finish yeah it doesn't dry out my lips at all like some some have complained that these tend to be drying but that's not the case with me I think they are really easy to use they just give beautiful colors as well and when I work I like to use these two colors depending on like my mood yeah either the red one which is the number 10 Monte Carlo and another one is the pink one which is number 8 San Paolo and every time I wear these I always get compliments from my colleagues like they're always asking me like what are you wearing like what lipstick are you wearing like everyone just says that they look so good they compliment me very well really really recommend the soft matte lip creams from NYX they are really good and very affordable as well and now the next product that I would like to talk about is some lip liners some of the lip liners that I find are really good when I feel the need to use a lip liner is from Jordana and they are called the easy liner for lips retractable pencil and they do come in a range of colors most uh, suitable for like from fair to dark skin tones and what I really love about these is that they have very thin and like precise pencils and they are also very very smooth so they glide on your lips without tucking them at all which is amazing because they are so affordable like can you guess how much this are they're like three dollars each 
yeah, I would say like three or four dollars each. I don't remember, but yeah, so cheap, right? And they are so good. Like, I think they compare. They are probably better than some higher end brands. Apart from using this as lip liner, you can also use them as lipstick as well. So you just fill. You can fill out like. Uh, all of your lips. They would give like a satin finish to your lips and with opaque color. They are really really beautiful. So if you can get a hold of this uh, anywhere, I really recommend it. It is really really good. As for the next product, I have a bronzer recommendation from the brand Physicians Formula Butter Bronzer. And this one, you are probably not surprised because it is highly raved about by many. And before, they used to come in only two shades, like the light bronzer and the bronzer, I think. And I have it in the shade bronzer, but now they come in four colors. It has like really soft, buttery consistency. Actually, it has really, really strong coconut scent, but it does go away quite quickly. So if you're sensitive to scents, I think uh, it won't bother you too much. Yeah, but if you're... <laughs> If you're really like um, have a strong reaction to like coconut scents or something, then you might not like this. You might be put off by this. But for me, I I don't I'm, I usually don't like uh, heavily scented products. But since I said it does go away quite quickly, so it doesn't bother me that much. And I think the color is just perfect for my um, skin tone. Um, I'm, I'm usually like between NC15 to NC20 and I think the shade bronzer just fits me perfectly. I like to apply it cheerily first and then I can always build it up if I want more like uh, intensity. Yeah, but it is a really really good bronzer from the drugstore. Now for the next product, I have an eyebrow pencil from the brand Etude House and this is the Drawing Eyebrow. So it comes in two sides. One side is a brush and the other side is a slanted pencil like this. So I think since the shape is slanted, it's very very easy to use and just like it gets in like the right corners of your eyebrows. It's very, yeah, very easy to apply. And I have it in the shade 2, which is kind of like a grayish, slightly grayish, brown color. And it looks really natural when I don't have any makeup on because I think this color is just the perfect shade for those with black hair. Yeah, so if you're not wearing any makeup and or you have very light makeup on, I think this is like the perfect color to use. However, when I'm wearing like uh, makeup, like a full face of makeup, I prefer to use something more like brown toned, like dark brown or something because it's going to help like warm up my face a little bit. But when I'm not wearing any makeup, I think this is just like the right shade to use. So if you have black hair, I would really recommend this color, number two. For the next product, I have a foundation for you, which is Bourjois Healthy Mix Serum Foundation. And this is, I think, a brand from England. And I heard that it is the same company as Chanel. So maybe that explains why their foundations smell similar to like Chanel foundations. And basically it's like a sheer finish foundation and it gives like a natural finish. It's not dewy or not matte at all. Yeah, so I think it's good for everyday use. If you're not working and you're just going out like, yeah, I think this is a good one to use. It gives like sheer coverage, but you can also build it up of course. And I have it in the shade 53, but it is probably slightly too dark for me now. So I can mix it with the shade 51 and it, I would just get like the perfect color. I would say like the perfect shade for me is 52, but I ran out of that one and I still have this one. So I don't want to like get a new one. So I would just like mix this with 51, like I said. And yeah, it's like just, it's just like a everyday foundation like if you're not looking for um, something that long lasting you can use this but if you are like going out for an event or you expect your foundation to last all day maybe this is not the perfect foundation for you so it's more like um, 
an everyday like easy natural foundation as for concealer um the one that I like from the drugstore is this one from Maybelline, which is the Instant H Rewind Concealer. This one comes in like a cushion type applicator. Some may argue that it is quite unsanitary, but I only use it on me, so I don't, I don't, I feel like I don't need to worry about it being like dirty or whatever. I, yeah, I don't mind about that at all. So, anyway, other than that, it gives pretty sheer coverage. So, if you have like really extreme dark under eye circles maybe this is not the perfect concealer for you so as for me i don't have a lot of problems under the eye areas just slightly dark circles so i think this is this one works fine and again this is best for like every day so if i'm going to work i would prefer to use like another concealer that would give like um fuller coverage but yeah, for every day, this one is good to help brighten up the under eye area. And it's also not cakey or drying at all. It has, actually it has quite like a watery like consistency. So it's not going to cake up at all. So that's the good thing about this one. So it's very light, it's very sheer. As many of you may know, my holy grail mascara is from Kiss Me by Isehan, which is the Japanese brand, and it's also a drugstore brand. But since I've mentioned those many, many times, so I would like to give like an alternative. And the other one that I like is from L'Oreal, which is the Voluminous Lash Paradise Waterproof Mascara. And I use the shade Blackest Black and this is also a very very good drugstore mascara it has quite a thick and big wand which i usually don't like since i don't have a lot of lashes i tend to find that bigger wands are harder to use for people who don't have a lot of lashes but this one i really like because i find that it helps like lengthen separates and volumize my lashes really well and also it doesn't smudge throughout the day which is a must yeah in mascaras it doesn't weigh down my lashes either so yeah this is probably the only mascaras that i like apart from the kiss me by isehan if you don't live in asia and you find that it is hard to get a hold of the kiss me by isehan this is also another good one i just got to try this rcma no color powder which has been highly raved about for a long time but yeah i just finished my three loose powders so i thought that i would try out this one and it is really really good even though it's not completely transparent it has more like an off-white color so it does brighten up my complexion a little bit when i use it but not not that much and i haven't tried um like wearing this and take a photograph to see if it does make um my face like look whiter than my neck or not like if it has like a white cast or not i haven't tried that yet so for that, I'm not sure how it would look on darker skin tones but apart from that, it is a really good setting powder because it's really lightweight and it does set the makeup really well like my makeup lasts all day without uh, getting shiny or anything throughout the day it is also really really um, worth it like in one container, there is like 3 ounces of product and I think this is like $12. Yeah, so it is really cheap, right? You get a lot for what you pay for compared to higher end brands. Just try this one, you might like it. I don't know how it would work on oily skin, but for dry skin, it works fine. And another thing though that I don't like about this powder is look at the container. How are you supposed to use this, right? So what I do is just, I dispense this in like an old um, powder container, like the three loose powder container that I finished already. I just dispense some of it in that container and use that one instead and keep this one at home. So that's what, that's I guess would be the best solution for, yeah. This. Now on to the last products. I have some more lip products recommendation. These are the Mamon Creamy Tint Color Balm Intense Version, which is the matter version. 
and they are basically like um, lip tints or lip stains in pencil form and they are like retractable so you don't need to sharpen them with a sharpener and they are like uh, they are very very um, smooth and they glide on your lips as well they don't pull or tuck on your lips at all and they give very opaque and bright color what I like about these is that they come in a wide range of colors and you can you can choose to use this as like a lip stain or you can use this like all over the lips like as a full-on lipstick they work fine both ways and they are also very affordable I don't have anything bad to say about these at all they are just so good even though they may be a little bit like drying but nothing like a lip balm can't fix you know so yeah if you're looking for like um, a lipstick that is easy to carry and easy to use and to apply this is one of the options that I recommend so there you have it guys if you enjoyed watching this video please don't forget to hit the like button and subscribe and if you have any products that you think are really really good from the drugstore please share it in the comments below i would love to know so that i can try those products yeah so until the next one bye